shopping for back to school, a task some parents cringe at the thought of. I just put a little bit away every paycheck and then, you know, I give him a budget, you know, you know, how much you can spend on clothes and we still have to get school supplies and that sort of thing. So. Erica Cox's budget for her son Ryan is about $300 this year and that's just for new clothes. And then school supplies, we just, whatever we have to pay for that because there's a list that we need to get. The National Retail Federation estimates the average family will spend $634 on back to school this year. There are many items on back to school shopping lists besides just school supplies. Items families hope to get at a discount this tax free weekend. Eight and a quarter percent of all items back to school at every store. The intent of the law was to try to stimulate economic activity. What it probably mostly does is shift economic activity from one weekend to the next. A frenzy of shoppers trying to cut down on their unavoidable spending. You buy your, make your purchases during the tax holiday weekend instead of the weekend after or the weekend before. So kids like Ryan can get all the items that make going back to school exciting. I think it's all the new supplies, probably about my new clothes, and probably new mechanical pencils. And so moms like Erica can afford them. We try to budget you know, so many dollars a month. Saving up for when discounts are in the stores. Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News.